Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're talking about the type keyword in package.json. So within Node there's now uh, two module systems. There's the ever-present common JS, um, but then also we can write using ES modules, ECMAScript modules, it's the same as what browsers use today. Uh, it, but this does cause some issues in terms of using um, both module systems within a package. So if you're writing a new package, you're going to be pulling in certainly some common JS packages there's thousands of those out there uh, but maybe some newer ES modules as well uh, and in order to facilitate this the type keyword is there to help us out and distinguish between the two uh, oh, before we jump in though if you find yourself enjoying the video feel free to click that subscribe button below change the alert icon to all uh, and you'll get updates for future videos all right so let's have a look we'll create a little package um, and we'll, we'll say we're going to be trying to use an ES modules um, um, and also common JS modules in our package. Uh, right, let's so let's let's jump in there. So what I'll create first is a very simple common JS and ES module package that we're gonna we're gonna pull into our project. So let's create a test common JS, uh, and we'll go into that here. Um, we can do an npm in it. And then we can open that up in code. Specify there. All right, so let's create a new file in here. Um, we'll save it off as index.js. And we'll, so this is common.js. So on the exports object, I can add functions that will be available to consumers of this package. So we can add an add function on here and we'll just say X and Y. Um, we'll get it to, we'll get it to console log that we're doing this. So we're adding uh, using common JS here. And we will just return x plus y and so that's all i think all we need to do in terms of common js just make sure it's on the exports object um, and we should be able to grab that uh, what i'll do while i'm here is so that we don't have to uh, explicitly put this up to npm because we're going to be pulling it in with essentially an npm install um, i'm going to use npm link which will kind of allow us to do that locally uh, if you've not used that before, I've got a video uh, explaining that in detail here, um, so worth, worth checking it out. But we could just say in here npm link, and then I'll be able to do an npm link and a package name to pull that in, rather than doing npm publish and npm install and putting a, a rubbish test package up onto the, the package manager there. All right, there's CommonJS. Let's um, we'll just minimize that because we will come back in there to have a look. Right, if we now come in and do a test and ES modules. And then we'll go into test ES modules. Do an NPM init in here as well. Um, and then let's jump into code here. So we'll create a new file here as well. And again, we'll save that off as index.js. And now to export a function using ES modules, we use the export keyword. So we can just have an export function and we'll have um, subtract in this one. Now, similar way, we'll just console a log out. Uh, subtracting using es modules and we can return x minus y all right um, and similar to there i want to do an npm link in here all right we'll minimize that one okay so there's the two packages one is common js one is an es module so can we use those can we use both of those in a single package um let's come back up here 
let's create a my app and we'll do an npm init on here as well open this up all right let's create a so we got yeah let's create a calculator app then i guess that's where we're going um so we'll say this off as calc.js and i want to be i want to write this as an es modules app so i would be using the import keyword in here so i would want to import oh i need to well, i need to link it first so let's do an npm so rather than npm install I can do an npm link and say test common js and test es modules and that should pull both of those in for me uh, if we look in node modules up here we get them both you can see this little arrow here that shows that it's not um, installed exactly from npm it's actually just in our local npm uh, all right. It also means as well, if I need to change any of those, then I'll get instant update rather than I'd have to change it, publish it back to NPM and, and install it. Um, yeah, be a nightmare. Um, so this is better. Right. So I want to import. What do we have? We had add from um, my no my common JS one. So add from test common JS. Yeah. And then also we had subtract, and that one was from ES modules. And then we would just want to call something here. So let's do a 10, add 10 plus 10, and then subtract 2010, that sort of thing. All right, so you know will that work out of the box if i if i don't do anything can i pull in from a common js package and also from an es modules package um so it's going to be quite a common thing that you're going to want to be doing in the f um even now yeah um let's give it a try i guess so we would do node calc.js and we would get an error who would have thought all right what does this say um cannot use import statement outside of a module um so i'm calling import here um and by default node assumes you're using common js and in that respect it doesn't know what import is it would we be expecting the require statement there so we can specify um in our package.json that we are using ES modules and that is where we use the type keyword. So I would come in here and I would say type and then I would say module. See, so you can get two options here, module or common JS. By default it's common JS. We need it to be a module. Uh, right, so that now means that when I run node, it understands the import keyword um, and it will certainly be happier about that part but see what we get now okay so we've still got an error um and it's complaining about if i scroll this one up it's complaining about the subtract so it's saying the named export subtract was not found the requested module test es modules is a common js module so i've created that package and again by default node is thinking it's just a common js package so it would be expecting us to do um, exports dot name to export the function but we've done export so let's go back into test es modules and yeah so we're using the export keyword and we need to do a similar thing we need to tell node that this isn't common js but this is an es module so we can do exactly the same as we did um, in our package you can come in here and say yeah I'm a module so I save that off now our npm link should immediately update uh, and now if I run this again now it 
it works. Didn't actually print my answers out, but that's by the by. Um, we can see it calling add using common JS and subtracting using ES modules. Um, and so, you know, that, that type keyword allows us to specify what our project is actually um, using. So it's either going to be common JS or ES modules. Um, so yeah, just need to um, use that. There are there are other ways to specify that. You could um, you could use the the naming suffix. So if you change your file name to say a .mjs or .cjs, that does a similar thing. Uh, we can have a quick look at that here. Um, but the 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 uh, the best way to to do it is to stick that. Um, type keyword in um, but if I went into say test ES modules and I changed this guy here rather than being JS I could say MJS um, and again that that's a signal to node that it's a module so I, in that case I could get away without using the type keyword I think um, so if we come back in and just run this again now it should still work. No, didn't work. Ah, now that is, you just go down a rabbit hole here. Um, so I'll have one quick look at it. Um, Cause really we're just interested in the type keyword in this one. Um, but my, when I export my package, I would need to say MJS in there. Um, and that should that should do that. Uh, yeah, so that's still working there. So there are other ways to do it. The best way is to go into your package.json, specify the type and say whether explicitly whether it's a common JS or an ES modules. Uh, so there you go. Hope that was interesting. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, thumbs down if not. Uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.